In this video, I will explain what is and why we use the big O notation when analyzing algorithms. Let's start with an example. On your screen, you can see the code for a linear search algorithm. It is used to find an element in an array or some sort of collection. How does it work? It just goes over each element from the beginning. Now, the usual practice in algorithm analysis is determining the time complexity of this algorithm. By the term time complexity, we determine the number of steps our algorithm takes depending on the input. We don't measure the exact time it would take in seconds because it would be different on every computer. So we just take a look at number of operations and their relation to input. Let's go back to our example. Now that we know what time complexity is, let's determine it. But first, let's see what is the best and what is the worst case of this algorithm, as that is also unusual practice in algorithm analysis. Best case, element that we need is first. And the worst case, element doesn't exist, as it we will go over each element and we wouldn't find it. Here you can see how the number of steps is related to input. If we have an array of 100, let's say integers, then we would have to do 100 operations for the worst case. In computer science, we usually focus on the worst case, as you have to be prepared for it. You can't allow your program to run for hours because you thought that the best case would happen. So, the time complexity is... We do one operation for i is equal to 0, and plus 1 times we check if i is less than an array length, we do n operations for i++, and we check if our element is in array n times. And then we either return i if it is in there, or minus 1 if it isn't, so that is one operation. And now we just add them up, and we have 1 plus n plus 1 plus n plus n plus 1, which is equal to 3n plus 3. So our function is f of n is equal to 3 times n plus 3. Now comes the big O notation. We use it to denote the worst case. We simply write O of f of n and replace f of n with the right side and we get O of 3n plus 3. But we also remove constants and scalars that multiply n. So our final answer looks like this, O of n. Which means that our algorithm follows a linear time complexity. There are different kinds of complexities. Let's say that you need to go over each element of a matrix. What time complexity is that? Well, it's n times n, so we write O of n squared, and call that a quadratic complexity. What if our algorithm just does one operation, like accessing one element from an array? So if we have five elements, we do one operation, but if we have 100 elements, we also do one operation. So number of operations doesn't grow as our input size grows. That is called a constant complexity and we denote it as O of 1. Here is a list of some complexities. I've already mentioned constant, linear and quadratic and it's always good to see more. So hopefully this makes it clear for you. We use the big O notation when denoting a worst case complexity of an algorithm. Please note that for an ex example I use the time complexity, but we can also use big O for space complexity. We just write O and inside the parentheses we write the name of the function. Thank you for staying to the end. If this video was helpful, consider supporting us by subscribing. If you need help, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.